this is as much of a heads up video to my few loyal subscribers that I'm still living as much it is a kind of tutorial uh, really minimalistic tutorial so what you see here is the BenQ also just a heads up that I have this monitor and uh, you can ask questions about it if you want to I also had the XL2740 and although I didn't play much on this monitor I already saw the UFO test uh, the ghosting test and I can tell you that the XL2740 and this the XL2540 are nearly indistinguishable Maybe if I had them side to side, I don't have the 27 inch model uh, right now, but if I maybe if I had them side to side I could tell a little bit of a difference, but they are nearly identical in every way other than the size. Which I wasn't expecting, uh, because even though mm, logic would dictate that, usually two monitors which uh, are the same model just different sizes aren't exactly the same despite logic dictating that because they have to use other panels and other panels may be tuned slightly differently in terms of response times color whatever and that usually shows up in the monitors themselves but in this case they're damn near identical in terms of colors and ghosting but yeah just just a heads up that you can ask questions about this monitor now as well and maybe i could even compare it to the other monitors i've tried such as the i don't know lg 27 gk 750F-B, which is a pretty long ass name and I hate to pronounce it. Or the Alienware AEW2518HF. So many monitor names I've memorized. I'll link, uh, I'll put in the description, I'll put all the names of the all the monitors I've tried. So if you're curious about them or curious about comparisons, you can ask away in the comment section. But finally, getting back to this monitor, I'll uh, remove it from the monitor arm I've put it onto. This is, by the way, a Czech monitor arm, which is a really sturdy monitor arm, and it only costs 40 euros. And I can see monitor arms floating around $100 uh, dollars on Amazon and eBay. And honestly, they don't look nearly as sturdy as this one is. So props to these Czech guys, even with the manual, they really did well. It's really clear and understandable and all the accessories. It's a shame that if you're far from Czech Republic, you probably won't be able to buy it. I can still buy it in Slovakia, and maybe you could buy it in Hungary or some nearby country, but if you're in the America, if you're in the US, in the America, yeah, uh, then you're probably out of luck with this uh, relatively cheap, like 40 euros, but really good quality monitor arm. But enough jibber jabber, let's get back to the monitor itself. If you just unpack the monitor, then you don't even bother with the stand if you want to put it in, on an arm. But if you already put it on the stand, well, you take it off the stand, throw the stand away to your clean laundry, and no, it's not dirty laundry, and you take out these four of these black screws which reside here. They are usually hidden away. Um, by the monitor stand. So you take these out and you screw in the provided screws with your monitor arm and uh, from that point onwards it, differ it differs for all kinds of monitor arms but I'll show you what comes next with my monitor arm. So you lift the panel 
and gently, very carefully, put it on here. Because as you can see, that thing there is just a hook. You can put these screws uh, on that hook and later I'll tighten them up. But first I'll add these two screws also. And after that is complete I'll just plug in the cables and uh, move the arm around however I see fit. And now I'll have more space below the monitor to put my keyboard and my mouse pad and whatever else I'd like to. And I'll also have more flexibility without needing to like move the whole stand with the monitor panel around on my desk. So yeah, that's it. I have the XL2540 now. Oh my god. I just realized that I probably covered the microphone for like the last minute. But hey, we'll see. We'll see how it turns out.